Hey everyone, I'm back with my casual playthrough of Tetanus for Doom 2 by Squonker Team. Played through Crispy Doom. There are only three maps left, so let's jump in. Desaturate. So a title like this would seem to imply that we're in for a very gray level. Let's see if that's the case. Well, I, I can use my rockets. I'm playing continuous. Another one where I'm gonna be a bit. I don't know if reticence is the right word. I'm not gonna talk all the time, maybe. Because. I just wanna play some Doom. And. I just want to record everything of this particular bot that I play, so. Alright. There is. A delinquent of doom here, and he hopefully won't doom us. Um, get rid of those lost souls, and then old Kako demon, Keiko the demon, and. Uh, Kind of wasting shells here. Let's go to the chain gun. Yeah. You'd think, again, since this map's called Desaturate, it would be very grey. And there's a bit of grey. I think there is more grey than in previous maps, but... It's also very saturated with, with the blue and orange of the rest of this map. Yeah, this platform just exists for when I get the blue key, so... Maybe not. Uh, oh, there you go. Yeah, that's just the entrance. This is really nice. Um, this is really nice music, I will say. Um, like, I really like all the these guitar solos, and, yeah, it all sounds great. I'm being absolutely loaded with rockets here. Oops. Oops. This is what the rockets are for, presumably. Yeah, I'm not doing great. But hey, two medicates. Two medicates is essentially a nice way of saying. Hey, I know that last map was hard. 
so here's a bone. Here's something to make it the rest of the level easier. Probably doesn't matter much, but I like just punching out the pinkies dry sometimes, just to save those two shells. <laughs> sometimes two shells matters a lot. Is that a Java logo? Eh, nah, it isn't. Would be funny if it was though. Like maybe the mapper worked at Oracle. You know, actually a way more likely reason to use the Java logo than working at Oracle is if the mapper was just very attached to old school Java in browser games. Yeah, that, that was a weird time in computing history when Java ran in the browser. Man, I'm getting a lot of rockets and nothing else. That's all I'm supposed to use in this map. I should probably obey that command, right? And immediately face rocket as soon as I choose to do so. Um, let's see, okay. Another medikit, good. Gives me a buffer of health. Okay, yeah, if I if I die, I'm playing this on Pistol Start just to get the full experience of rocket-only combat. It's, an, it's a classic formula, because who doesn't love just seeing enemies absolutely destroyed by rockets? Uh, oh no. Oh yes! But there's another one. Let's kill it. Oh god. Just get out of my way. Stop sniping me so I can focus on this Martian. Who is very pissed off that I have not yet focused my rockets on him. There you go. The Martian got the death that he desired. He died honorably in battle against the Doom Guy. I don't want to waste these barrels because I feel like they might be useful later. But then again, they could also kill me later. And that's always a trade-off with explosive barrels. Uh, rocket time? I think it's rocket time. Just like this entire map. Funnily enough, I think I made a comment in an earlier video about rocket-only combat, and I was wrong. But I think this is very clearly rocket-only combat, because I'm not seeing any 
ammo that isn't rockets anywhere. Wonder what that did. Oh! Ambush? It's Tonga time. I don't know how that is possibly relevant here. I just felt like making a History of the World reference. I think I felt like saying it's blank time and just fill in the blank. So that is the blue key. I now have access to it. See what picking it up does. Walking across here doesn't do anything. Presumably I already triggered whatever that would have done. And as usual for this map set, I very quickly find the blue switch, which opens another switch, which causes the floor to sink. Another rocket test, let's go. Ooh. Lots of enemies. More than I thought there were. What's a word ending in eight for exploding? If there is such a word that isn't explode in eight, then that's what this map should have been called. Uh, what do I do now? There has to be a yellow key somewhere. Well, I guess I'm about to find out. That's what those explo exploding barrels are for. Well, that was a good time to face Rocket if I had to, because I still had plenty of health left over. Is that just going to drop me down to the yellow key? Nope! Big nope. Oh, this is... this is a fight. This is... this is a nice fight. All the enemy types. I mean, not literally all of them, but like, we got Mankivai, Arachnotrons, which I just pathetically failed to triple rocket. Oh! Coming back. Meet your demise? Okay. Switch. Yeah. All I need to do now is find that yellow key. So. Hey! And it teleports me here? Ah, there's the exit. Or is it? Because that door was labeled exit, but... Okay, that teleporter leads somewhere, and then this door... Should be the exit. Yes! The Saturate by Uber. I have never heard this mapper's name before. 
Um, what is he about? Um, or possibly she or they. Uh, yeah. What's Uber about? I don't know. All I could find is um, Uber's Doom World description as a graphics made. Anyway, Circulate is the next map. And sure, let's go ahead and play it. I, I feel like I, I didn't say enough about that map. While I was on the end screen. Yeah. Um, map 8 on um, Dethatch Rate was pretty great. I really enjoyed the rocket only combat and the big enemies um, taking them all down. I'm surprised there weren't many like big groups of enemies. Like just a giant wave of imps somewhere, because that's something you typically see in, like, rocket-centric maps, but... Whatever. There we go. This is a nice little atmospheric midi. I kind of like this architecture too, just like the mix of rust and water. Very good looking. But then so is this entire set. Did I forget to save? Eh, yeah, whatever. If I die, I guess I'll have to save. It's like, no way they're giving us the exit already, and yep, yellow key needed. And I bet it's gonna take a while to find that yellow key. There we go, that's what exploding barrels are for. That shotgunner just... I couldn't take it anymore. Like, why bother fighting in the presence of Doom Guy as controlled by um, a MIDI composer who is average at best at Doom? Um, actually, I'm probably above average technically because, like, most Doom players don't go this deep into the rabbit hole, but like, I'm a medium doom player, let's say. Okay, that's blue bars. Where else can I go? There, I take it. Ooh, a new wave of enemies. I feel like that chain gunner targeting was kind of just lucky. It occurs to me... Am I just going to be going back through here multiple times and finding different configurations and different waves of enemies? Because I think that would be a neat gimmick. No trap there. But, Archvile. Whose flame naturally glitches out. Okay, that worked, but I took a lot of damage. Thankfully, I got to mostly recover. Uh, 
switch. Bed key. Finally some progress. I guess I just run across here? Yeah. Okay. Where, gotta grab the key, wherever it is. There. No trap. Just... Just the key. And this is what it opens. Let's see what it opens. Oh, of course there are enemies waiting for me. And I can't dodge out of the way immediately. That looks like it should be a crusher trap for some reason. For some reason, when I just said Crusher Trap, imagine if the trap was that, like, Beverly and Wesley Crusher from Star Trek just randomly appeared. They are capable of great evil, I am sure. I don't know. I feel like they're strictly anti-demons. One of them is... even like... a being of pure thought of some sort. <laughs> so whatever. I just spoiled Star Trek The Next Generation, I'm sorry. Um, Let's... Uh... Oh, of course. Of course, there's an arch vial. And of course, I can't target him right away because he's got meat shields. Come on. You coward. Ah. Uh, this might be the end of the line. What if I just went in bold with it? Okay, that worked. But I don't know how much longer I have left to live. With these stats. I guess if I'm just careful, I could get past. There aren't any hit scanners, but like, if there ends up. Oh crap! Yeah, I'm definitely screwed if I don't find health immediately. Two percent health, five percent armor. Can I just backtrack? I don't think I left any behind. Yikes. Unless I maybe... Missed the secret. I don't think I did, though. There's a soul sphere trapped up there, but... I don't think I'm supposed to find it by going up there. Uh... Yeah, I think this might be it, folks. I hear a hit scanner who could potentially kill me at any moment. I guess just hope for the best. Where to next? Yeah, I gotta be ultra careful here. Ultra paranoid. Because anything could kill me in an instant. Like that! Okay. Yeah.
yeah, I'm gonna continue from pistol start, and this time I'm actually gonna save at the beginning. Uh, yeah. Need to be strategic with my weapons, I think. Oh. Yeah, because this time I don't have everything I had before, so... I can't quite as easily get rid of that Arachnotron, and I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die in a sec. This is a lot harder from Pistol Start. Who would've known? Uh, yep. Yeah, what if I just do that, and then I can kill these guys, pick up the chain gun, at great cost. <laughs> Yeah, maybe going through the chain gun was not the best idea. I now have a bunch of shells I can't use. And in order to do anything, I need to pick up the shotgun. And this is the nearest shotgun. Oh, hey! Cool. Maybe I can recover from this somehow. Just Okay, maybe I can't recover from this. <laughs> Medicate. Uh I do not like shotgunning cacos. Especially when there are four of them. Okay. Okay. I've got somewhat of a start here. I just need to not take a particularly dangerous route. If I can get back onto there, nope. There's there's another way though, right? Oh, and I bet it's that way. I bet I just have to go up here. Despite all of the danger that's up here. But hey, back to 90%. That's that's good. And I get an SSG. That's going to summon an archfile, though, so... Hmm. No, I'm going to save my game here. Hey! Got the Arachnotron. Yeah, only one way forward that I can think of. And if I had to fight an Archfile, then. 
I guess I just have to fight an Archvile. Hey, that went surprisingly well. Yeah. And now I can go through here. Press this switch. To open up the red key. But now I have to find a way back to the... Oh, those doors. I completely forgot about them. Hey, there's even armor here. Why didn't I think of that before? Okay. Get rid of these guys. Armor. Yeah, I think I turned that around pretty nicely. Why not go the other way through this hallway, just for the heck of it? I think that's where the blue key, red key door is, anyway. Yeah. Yeah, alright. Just as long as I don't lose ridiculous amounts of health here, I'll be fine. I don't have the rocket launcher for this, so I just gotta... I guess chain gun him. Yeah. There we go. Yep, okay. There's a switch somewhere around here. Activated the rocket, and then pretty big sequence of fights, as I recall, up here. Yeah, there might even have been an art file. Indeed. There we go. That wasn't too bad. Wasn't too bad the second time around anyway. Now that I managed to not take... Um... Revenant fireballs. <laughs> or face rockets. Yeah. This is seeming a lot more manageable. I wonder if I'll be completely deathless here. I mean, I'm not gonna count on it, but... Like, I already did my single segment attempt. But... It would be nice if I was deathless. Hi. Stop harassing our customers. There's only one customer to this Megabot, and it's me. I don't... That, that clip would have worked way better in, like, a city map or a shop. There was one in Pagodia. I should have used it then, but whatever. Ooh! Skeletals. And many of them. Oh, okay. Maybe I won't get deathless after all. I love 
dying to 80 damage revenant missiles slash sarcasm. <laughs> I probably just died to a very normal damage revenant missile, considering the lack of um extra pain sound. That is not what I meant to do. Uh, yeah, two deaths on that one fight. I wonder how you get that berserk, as I called it in the last episode, the bazoik. Okay, yeah. Let's grab that blue key. And, uh... Gotta find a nice tower to move around. Catch my missiles. Or the chasers specifically, like the ones that follow you around. I don't know if chaser is technically the distinguishing term or if it's just the same for both like the non-tracking ones and the track Oh my god. I was talking too much. Maybe the way to get that okay no. I thought that it was gonna be a very specific jump, but nope. Try one more time. Fire a few rockets forward. No. I wonder if the right strategy is to like bottleneck them somewhere. Okay. Eh, nope. Yeah, I wonder if I should try to bottleneck them somewhere, but I don't know where that would be, because I don't really have convenient spots. No, let's make another save, just so I don't have to kill that chain runner again. Well, that's not a good start. I wonder... Well, I'm not really bottlenecking them, but so far this is going a little better, as I'm able to take them out from a distance. Yeah, okay. That That's the trick to the fight, I guess. Um... And there's a good amount of stim packs to heal back up from all those missiles. Can't open the exit just yet. I think where I'm supposed to go are those blue key bars up. Oh, yeah, there. Yeah. No oh, joy. Pain elemental. Easy as that. Although rockets are not really a good weapon against the pain elemental. I kinda just got lucky there and didn't get caught behind a lost soul. Okay. Okay. Hey, is that a slime trail? Very subtle. But it just looks weird. Yeah, there's like a tiny slime trail here. Ooh. 
Just the tiniest of ones. It doesn't really matter. So I think what I'm supposed to do is parkour. From here to here. Hi. What does this lead to? Oh, back here. But anyway... I'm supposed to go from here all the way across. Can't open that door yet. Oh, that's nice of you. Locking me in. Yeah, of course there's a... There's a danger button. Pinky, sure. No bazoic though. Just pinkies. But I presume I'm supposed to be SSGing. Yep. And uh, lots of cacos. See if, see if I can just... They're all around me is a problem. So... I really shouldn't be standing still. I wonder if there's like a ceiling or something so the Kakos can't actually enter my arena. So it seems like they should be, but they aren't. They're just staying at th that exact height. No elevating going on. Okay. Do I get to exit now? I have more rockets than I do. SSG blasts by far. Might as well use them if it's safe. Okay, yeah, where do I go now? Because I can't exit. At least it doesn't seem like I can. So if I were to guess, there's a way to jump down below, but I don't, I'm not seeing it. Uh... Maybe I'm supposed to shoot that? Or just something else? Yeah, I don't think they'd expect me to shoot that door. Because it doesn't even seem possible. Oh! There we go. Alright. Can I exit now? Because I have the key I need to exit, so... I mean, maybe I shouldn't be in a hurry, but... That is not the way to the supercharge. The, the sphere charge. The super soul. The charge drive. Okay, exit. Oh. This is just the outside of that room where I was before. It's got a whole bunch of ammo in it, which is kind of worrying.
And a supercharge. Yeah, this isn't just the exit, is it? There's something more to this room. Let's see. When I press the switch... Yep! A whole bunch of imps and an art file. Uh, that art file's gonna be hard to kill. Space rocket! Come on. Yeah, alright. The arch files down. The rest of the enemies are bottlenecked up here. Shouldn't be too hard. Oh, hi. Wondering where those noises were coming from. Oh, look, another giant ammo stash. Is there more? It sure looks like it. It's got boss stage vibes. Oh, Noah, mastermind. Thankfully, I've got cover. But, oh, pinkies. So, dodge the pinkies and the mastermind. Sure, I can do that. It's actually a good spot. Alright. Gotta just know your peekaboo shooting and keeping a distance. Come on. Yes! Just in time, because I'd lost a lot of health. Oh no. Not this. You know what? I'm saving just for this. I am terrible at dodging cyber demons. And of course, this isn't a particularly hard arena to dodge a cyber demon in. I just happen to have had a lot of recent and embarrassing failures at this on playthroughs I didn't record, and now I have to expose it to an audience of, like, three, so... Uh, 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 ah! I feel like I should- oh! I do get the plasma for this. Great! That should make this a bit faster. Not least because I can occasionally painstate the side of demon. Yeah! Okay! Oh, wow, that's quite the building. Don't tell me there's more after this. Nope. Circulate by Skronkadonk. Only thing I know about Skronkadonk is that I think he was in the other um, Squonker team playthrough. 
or Squonker Team mod I played, Pagodia. And he was in Theme Gawad, which I did a fairly significant amount of music for, so... Yeah. And with that, um... I have dragged this on for long enough, so... Till next time.